I'm Neil Tandon. I'm an assistant professor of atmospheric science in the Department of Earth, Space Science and Engineering, and I'm here to talk to you about the Earth and Atmospheric Science Program. Earth and Atmospheric Science covers physical processes within the Earth. Uh, it covers physical processes at the Earth's surface, so things like plate tectonics, earthquakes. Terminology that we often use for that is, is geophysics or, or geomatics. It also covers processes related to the atmosphere and, and the ocean that surround Earth, so processes relevant for, for weather and, and climate. And the program also gets beyond Earth and starts to examine uh, other bodies in the solar system. So in other words, what we call space science or, or planetary science. We offer an atmospheric science stream, we offer a space science stream, and we offer a geomatic science stream. There's a long list of possible real world examples you could go through. So atmospheric science principles, they're constantly put to work for improving systems that that predict severe weather, torrential rain, tornadoes, uh, hailstorms, hurricanes, the list goes on. Um, atmospheric science is also at work when it comes to understanding changes over, over decades and, and centuries, so things relevant for climate, which places will get wetter, which places will get drier, which places will get warmer and cooler. Space science, the other aspect of our program, it's, it's put to work for all of those uh, space missions and space exploration missions that you, you've heard about in the news. Uh, the Phoenix lander on Mars is one example in which York faculty are heavily involved in that mission. There are a whole range of ways in which a student graduating this program can, can really make a big difference in society and the world. The knowledge you gain in this program is crucial for making many decisions. Many of them are life and death decisions. Many of them are, are hugely consequential for, for people's livelihoods. For example, should we evacuate this area along the coast where, where we expect a hurricane to make landfall? Uh, should we tell people to stay home in Northern Ontario because tornadoes are likely? You know, these are really life and death decisions. Thinking about climate change, for example, should we change where and how we, we construct buildings because the likelihood of flooding is changing over the long term as the planet warms and as sea level rises in many places? Should farmers plan to change what crops they plant because of long-term changes in rainfall or, or changes in, in the length of the growing season? So very, very practical, pragmatic decisions that, that affect people's livelihoods. And then thinking more broadly, how can we learn from other planets to understand how Earth originated and, and what might happen here in the future? What planets might be suitable for us to inhabit if, if we had to leave Earth for some reason, if Earth became uninhabitable? So there are a number of interesting projects that students in the EATS program might get involved with. Uh, you might analyze satellite observations, radar models to help predict uh, severe weather like tornadoes, uh, hailstorms in the GTA, developing instruments to measure traffic pollution in the Toronto area or pollution coming from industrial activity elsewhere. As another example, you might work on instruments to help examine ice formation on Mars, getting into other planets, or techniques for analyzing the uh, mineral content of, of asteroids. So there's a, there's a range of students that would really enjoy the Earth and Atmospheric Science program. They're the students that just have a basic fascination with the world around them. They, they look up at the sky, they see interesting cloud patterns, or they see images of, of tornadoes on the news and they want to just get out there and, and chase some storms. Those students that, that are really interested in, in, in observing the world around them and the technology that's required for doing that, developing the models and the remote sensing systems, those are students that, that would really enjoy the EATS program. Uh, and then there's there are the students that also ask why about all, all of these things. They don't necessarily need to go into real depth with, with the technology, but they want to go in depth with the physics, right? They see a tornado make touchdown in Barrie. They want to understand why did that happen? Why did that tornado touch down in Barrie and not somewhere else? Uh, they see the severe floods, the record breaking floods occurring in, in Europe and in Asia, and, and they want to understand why is this happening? Why is this happening more now than it used to happen? Um, or they, they start to look at other planets. They want to understand uh, why does Mars have a, have a thinner atmosphere than, than Earth does? Right. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my first year course at Lausanne.